I'm going to go ahead and get my type tool by pressing the T key. And I'm going to drag around the fraction one third. Now, this should be 33 and a third, right? We should be seeing the fraction version of one third instead of one slash three, which looks pretty clumsy and is very difficult to read next door to 33 like that. Well, Illustrator can automatically replace that because I am working in an open type font, Adobe Castlin Pro. It can go ahead and automatically replace that fraction with the proper built version of the fraction if I just click on this little fraction icon. Notice that. It looks just dandy. Now, what would happen if I went ahead and selected that entire number, like 331 over 3, and then clicked on the fraction icon? It would turn the entire thing into a built fraction, 331 thirds. That's not what I want to see happen, so I could just go ahead and select the 33 and turn off fraction in order to make it normal. You also have old style numerals, should you wish to take advantage of them. I'll just scroll over a little bit until we get to the date over here, 1794. That's a long time ago, eh? So I'll go ahead and replace this text right here with old style figures, which I find from the figure menu. So instead of my default figures, the word figure meaning numerals, I'll go ahead and choose proportional old style or tabular old style. Tabular old style will give you the same amount of space for each number. So each number has the same width, which is great for tables. That's why it's called tabular. And that is how most numbers are aligned inside of most applications, whether old style or not. If you prefer your ones to have less width than the other characters, then go ahead and choose proportional old style. Or if you prefer, you can also say proportional lining, which gets you normal numbers. However, the one is thinner than the seven and so on. So they're spaced better, which typically works better inside text or any scenario, really, anytime that you're not trying to line up numbers inside of a table. Anyway, in my case, I want this to be proportional old style. I want this to be old style numerals. How about this ST at the end of 21st here? That's known as an ordinal. The ST should be raised and superscripted, and I can do that using this option right here, the ordinal option. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. And sure enough, Illustrator goes ahead and replaces the S and T with specialty S and T characters. These are not simply reduced type size versions of an S and a T that have been superscripted. These are actually redrawn figures that look good with the letters around them.